just crossed a parish line. Absolutely hate this intersection. Yeah, you're right. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. This is how you open a bottle of water and hold a camera. I'm on the grind today. YouTube is a straight up grind if you want to be successful. And I'm grinding this day away. This is my second video. I'm going to go for three. Why? Well, just to get ahead, but also there's bad weather, right? Lots of it, especially for tomorrow and then throughout the week. So we're going to try to get ahead. Let's get hydrated. I'm going to try and pronounce it, but I guarantee I'm going to get it wrong. Chow Bodhi, Buddhist temple, Chuo Chua, Chua Bodhi. <laughs> this is not like a super long ride, but it is a grind. I'm in another parish. I'm in Orleans Parish right now. Into the weeds. At least they're good looking. Not everything here is good looking though. Even though at first glance it doesn't look that great because it's really choked and there's some stagnant areas. However, it's not dirty. And everything I've seen today or tried to fish has been extremely dirty because we had really bad thunderstorms all day and into the night yesterday. Everything's kind of musical, but a little off kilter out here today. Before I do anything, I gotta take care of some needs Ooh. funny sounding oh they're way out there I found them yeah you're right so I needed to get some cut bait took a couple of like trial and error things first I started out with a jig head with a worm on it now I've got a size 6 Aberdeen with a night crawler on it first I thought they were over there because they've been there before we got water moving but it's going back that way away from the pumping station which is that way I thought maybe they'd be here no they're out towards the middle feeding really close to the surface too there's a bunch of them out there. See that? I'm already getting a bite out there. I don't have much depth underneath the cork either. Come on. There's a lot of bites out there. Gotcha. Look at that. Hey, are you trying to catch this? No, I mean, it's a bluegill. I think I want to get two more if they're that size, right? This is probably like some kind of 
pre-spawn feed up kind of behavior because they're they're absolutely swarming in there. I like coming here for bass, but this is a really good good for this too for bluegill and other things. Sokale are here. Okay, you took it deep. So maybe maybe one more that would make four in there this is also a spot well for today this is the turnaround spot so i have enough battery to get home i've this is my second video today and i want to do a third so we're here right after five right oh getting the last piece of cut bait sometimes it's worth the novel like it takes forever like one of those not a roach killing novel but a rat killing novel like like 16 wars in peace oh well maybe no how many phone books from the 1970s do you have to read till you get another fish here it's probably like <laughs> it's gonna take no time at all It's gonna take some time. <laughs> Come on, number four. I think I have have plenty. I got a little bit anyway. Enough. What's up? Yeah, you're right. I'm trying to do two things at once now, cause. It might be a phone book from the 70s that you got to go through before you catch a fourth piece of cut bait. Those bluegill that were moving around, feeding heavily in there, they moved. They weren't, they're not there anymore. But I think they may have just come back or, well, there was a lot of activity all of a sudden. So we're watching that cork and we're throwing a, sh a finesse worm on a shaky head. So there's stuff over there. Something just broke the water right by the cork. It may have been a little gar. Ah, he spit it. <laughs> Number four hit it when I was about to give up. So on the side, I've been throwing stuff for bass and... <laughs> no joy not only do we have all this choke here but there is a lot of hydrilla type stuff underneath the water too out in front of us number five i was going to cut it at four but wow ah So the count is continuing because the plans for this afternoon, video plans, have been altered. We are going straight through. But until we go straight through, maybe number six. Yes, number six, do not come off. All right. It's not a, whoa, it was like you were flying away, like reality was shifting on us. It's not a big number six, but big enough. Unfortunately, six is not really a great mystical number. <laughs> but you know what it is, it's the one that comes after it. It's the one that six is scared of because seven, eight, nine. All right, number seven. Thank you. Let's go. Mm. 
changing things. Plans have changed. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. Wow, it's not really a needle. I was about to get out of here and then <laughs> it came unhitched because the nut that holds this together came off. So yeah, <laughs> where, I don't know where it is. I'm stuck. Ah. It's not a needle in a haystack, it's a nut in a haystack. So one of my friends, my friend Steve, is going to head this way and get me out of here. This is supposed to have a catfish part. It's supposed to be a catfish video at the end of this, but no. <laughs> here we go, another perch video. Could catch more fish, but also, you know, I'm just going to walk back and forth and see if I can find it. <laughs> Probably won't. So I guess this is the end of the video. Wasn't supposed to be, but yeah, let me get this stuff together and I'll get right back at you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.